Hey everyone, Tio here. In this video, I want to show you the handwriting and note-taking performance of the Samsung Z Fold 5. So the first thing you need to know is this phone does not come with the pen, so you have to purchase the pen separately. And I have two here. This is the S Pen Fold Edition. Make sure you get the pen that is supported on the full devices because the Samsung S Pen that are used on the tablets are not supported on this device. The S Pens that can work on this device are the ones with the slightly broader tip. If you have the tablet pen with the finer tip and you try to write, there will be this message that will appear. The phone can detect the tablet pen, but this pop-up warning will always appear, so it's not possible to write with the tablet pen. The pen that I recommend is this one, this smaller one that comes with the slim S Pen case because you can keep this pen together with the case and this case will also protect your phone and this case is not too bulky so you can have your pen with you all the time. The S Pen Fold Edition is more comfortable to hold but you will have to put this inside its own holder to bring this around. So this is US $55 and this is US $100. Here in Singapore, this is 128 Singapore dollars, and this is 88 Singapore dollars. To take out the pen, just push this latch here, and the pen is out. Oh, by the way, this phone is a review unit on loan from Samsung Singapore. Okay, few things to know about writing on this phone. The pen only works on the bigger display, not on the smaller display that's outside. And if you place the phone on the table to write, with or without the case, there will be the wobble. If you want to write with the phone on the table, you have to press on the phone so that it doesn't wobble when you are writing. And this is more comfortable because you can rest your palm on the table while writing. Or you can hold the phone like this and write. You just have to find some place to rest your palm on the edge or have it in landscape orientation so that you have more space on the side to rest your palm while writing. Let's look at the latency. This app is Samsung Notes and latency is pretty good. It's difficult for me to see the gap as the line is trying to catch up with the pen tip. This app is Concepts and latency is pretty good as well but not as good compared to Samsung Notes and I can see some issues with the lines. It's not uniform. You can see some parts are thicker. The pen supports pressure, tilt, and palm rejection. And you can write across the crease without any issues. This is the crease here. The display is laminated, so there is no gap between the line and the pen tip. Palm rejection works really well. It's impossible to introduce any stray strokes even if you want to. The writing performance and experience is fantastic. This last line was written on the crease itself and pressure sensitivity still works. And overall, my handwriting style was captured quite accurately. This is writing directly on the crease where my index finger is. This app is Concepts. The pen tip is the soft type, so when you tap on the screen or when you are writing, there is no tapping sound, which is nice. And the pen tip is quite smooth on the screen so this allows you to write very fast. There is no performance difference between the S Pen Full Edition versus the Slim Pen. This 7.6 inch display is quite spacious for taking notes so you can write a lot and you can see a lot. You can have a lot of content on the display. So this tablet, I mean this phone, will get an A, an easy A for handwriting and note-taking performance.